Today, you're going to learn how to grow hardware into your mycelium parts so that you can hang them on the wall. Specifically, we'll be hanging our acoustic tiles. Here is our growth form for our acoustic tile. You can see that it has these sine wave patterns. When touching the mycelium, always use gloves and safety goggles and sterilize anything that comes into contact with the mycelium, including your gloves. Let's fill the growth form. Before we seal it up and let it grow, we'll add in wooden blocks that will grow into the mycelium. The wooden blocks will provide a good surface to screw into and mount our hardware. We must sterilize the wooden blocks before they go into the mycelium. We'll use diluted hydrogen peroxide, something that you can find at your pharmacy. We'll press the wooden blocks into the mycelium. Using a stencil, we can ensure that the wooden blocks are perfectly aligned Once it is ready, we'll put this growth form on our racks. We'll pull down the plastic cover and seal it up to make sure the moisture stays in. We'll grow for four days. Next, we'll bring this to the oven set at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. This will stop the mycelium from growing. You'll know your part is done when it is 35% of the original weight, so you can use a scale to measure before and after, or use a moisture meter and measure when your part is 5-12% to moist. Next, we'll use a template to make sure that our screw holes are also perfectly aligned, so that when we mount the wall hardware, it is perfectly straight, and these pieces hang perfectly straight on the wall. And here we are, our final parts ready to hang on the wall. Today we've learned how to grow in hardware to our mycelium part. Share what kind of hardware you want to grow into your mycelium on social media. If you're interested in these acoustic tiles, you can find them on the Ecovative Design web shop. You can also find the growth forms for this project in the same place. Thanks for watching.